Hey there everyone, Tom here, and welcome back to my Minecraft achievement hunting world. So, I've collected some sheep, I've got a blue bed now, and I've got all of my villagers down here. Now, I put my villagers down here for a reason. And that reason is, is I need to make a tunnel. And my tunnel needs to be... Oh yeah, and I had a, um... You can't go down there. I had a, um... I had like a makeshift, um... Iron farm here as well, because these guys would basically spawn a bunch of iron golems and then... They could basically... They spawned... A bunch of iron golems, which made me get a lot of iron. But then the iron golems stopped spawning for some reason. And now I can't get iron golems here. So, I've closed off that farm. All my villagers are somewhat organised. He used to be in there, but then the iron farm was on top. I don't actually have any footage of the iron farm, but... They also can't breed down here because the beds are up here. And my plan... My plan is... To get the beds down there in their own little area down the bottom there for this episode. So my plan is... To get the beds down there in the wall. Sort of off to the side. Where... I also put them down there because they kept dying. So, my plan is to build and dig into this wall slightly. There is some water back here. Which I was aware of. So the idea is, is they see the beds over here and then they think they can breed. And they can breed, technically. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. So I got We're going to have a lovely area down here where and this is where the villagers' beds will be. So yeah, this is where their beds are going to be. Back here. Just gotta clear out some headspace for them. 
my overall plan is to get them to breed a couple of babies here, transport the babies a hundred blocks away from this area. Where I can then set up an actual like trading area plus village breeder and I can also ship the villagers back here for trading. Right, so first things first is of course I need an, a new way to get out of here. Which will be there, next to that guy. Second of all, I need to collect all these beds. This would be easier with an axe. And a very empty inventory. I don't need any of this stuff. My lava bucket and stuff from... Before, I need that bed though. So yeah, I've basically been making a bunch of beds for the project. Oh, it's project baby making, which is interesting to say. Right, let's get placed in beds. So, I know there's no torches down here as of yet, but with the new spawning levels, as long as it's not pitch black, technically, no zombies should spawn. Alright, so these guys can now interact with these beds, and technically they can now get into them. Which is why I had those sheep, by the way. Right, so. That should allow some babies to be made. Next is for my other plan, which is to get the baby villagers out of here. So they can fit through a one by one area. So what I'm going to do is. Through here, I'm going to dig 100 blocks of so one, three, or 100 blocks or so. So, but this is going to be obviously difficult. Oh, I'm going to make sure these guys don't come out. So I need to get myself a hundred or so torches or something. So I'm going to get myself a couple of bits of wood and smelt them up so I can get some torches. Hopefully I can get a stack and a bit of torches ready to go.
This is still smelling up some stuff from before. Should have some coal in here already. Yep, I do. Let's probably take that out of there. Turn it into this, turn it into that. 99 plus torches. So, 64 plus 2, and then we basically dig. Dig ourselves a little trench, basically. To funnel the villagers out 100 blocks away from where all the other villagers are, and where all of the workstations are. But I need to buy... Yes. Me. Um, I need some emeralds. Oh, I was really hoping there was going to be some emeralds in there. It's in gold, though. Alright, 31 emeralds. Back down we go. I want myself probably like two big axes. Get myself a diamond one. A freaking one. So I'm digging myself this trench. I've done this multiple times, by the way. Right, so let's have a sleep, and then we can get back to work in the morning, where all these guys are going to be burning. Dig. Yeah, 
here. I might be wondering, Tom, why are you doing this to make farms? Well, in this particular version of Minecraft, it's not the same as in Java version, which I prefer, yes, but... Okay, now we've reached the ocean. So, in this version of the game, villagers cannot breed, basically, within the radius of each other. So you have to do it like this. They just won't breed, basically. And for this being my achievement hunting world, normally I wouldn't be too bothered. But. Right, now I've dug myself a really long 100 block tunnel. We can now start going up. Right, so now that is done, we've now got this really long tunnel where I can get rid of all these torches now.
Right, so I won't actually ever see this tunnel. So I'm not... all that worried about it. With the new light levels, you shouldn't really get mobs down here anyway. So this tunnel now stretches 100 blocks or so in that direction. Now we need to dig back up into our village trading area. Where where we can now set up a little minecart system. We'll see we need some iron, which means we need to go mining again. Or we need to go find some iron golems. So now our tunnel is actually made. A bit of clean up. That's fine because I will never see that bit. So that's fine. And then our little villager area will now be over here. So our villager breeder will be all the way over there, well away from our base, but still in a proximity where we can still access it and send villagers to and fro. Now, we need to get gold. Now, the best way to get gold, and I've learned this the hard way and the easy way, and that is through the nether, with a silk touch pickaxe. Now, you can't do it with stone. I don't think you can anyway. You need to do it with iron. Now, I don't have any iron either, which is why I wanted the iron farm. And the iron farm worked for a little while, to be honest with you. It did work. I did go mining, I believe, in a stream. Hence why I got all this stuff. But I'm going to have one measly piece of iron. I don't think I have any iron. I got one in there, and none in there. But to make a rail, I think it's in nature. No, it's not. It's in items. Yes, to make a rail I need six pieces of iron. So, in order to even start even thinking about going the rail route, I need to go mining. But first, before going mining, I need to get myself a fortune villager. Ooh, I can't get that off there and put it on a book, which is annoying. I wish you could, but you can't. So, I need to get myself a fortune villager, which is why I've been collecting up a bunch of beds. And you might be able to say, oh Tom, maybe if you... Gee, that's kind of perfect. Right, these guys should technically have enough beds to start breeding. There's definitely a lot more beds than there is villagers. Which means... It's not getting baby villagers. Yes? Do your magic. So I can start getting some baby villagers, these guys will start breeding up. When they grow up, 
I can then start turning them more into librarians, get some more librarians, and then we can get ourselves a fortune book, get ourselves the iron that we need to build our little tunnel down here. They can actually get through there right now, so we do actually need to look that up. We can set up on the other side as well. So basically, in this particular version of Minecraft, and I don't know what everyone that's watching this is going to know this. I'm going to walk away from these guys. So I'm going to walk away from these guys. So, in this version of the game, um, the mechanic is that within a hundred blocks of a villager's workstation or bed, or, or, or actual villager area, that's a village, right? So when a villager is able to be born it can be born anywhere within a hundred blocks of a workstation or bed so you have to go a hundred blocks away to basically start a new village over there for this instance over in that direction from this supposed to visit village here so that the game thinks that that's a village over there and this is a village over here and that's basically what we're doing. Um, but we're going to be sending villagers from this fake village to our actual village over there. Tricking the game into thinking that there's two villages when really there is actually one. But we're going to do it properly this time. We're going to get them all in their little pods. And we might even have an iron farm going over there because over there there's going to be three beds. And I'm going to chuck food at them, they're going to make a baby, the baby's going to fall down, and then be immediately transported over here. And I don't know if I'm going to do a water stream that goes all the way, and then straight up into a bulb elevator with another water stream that pushes them into here, or or what. But that's all I've got time for for today. I hope you guys did enjoy me rambling around and trying to dig a big hole in the ground, and realising I need gold and iron, so next time... Next time we're gonna figure out. And yeah, I know this is achievement world, achievement hunting world, but I just love playing Minecraft and messing around and streaming it and all that stuff and learning game mechanics. Now, Java is my favourite version of Minecraft, yes, but I'm stuck with Bedrock on the Xbox. So yeah, we're learning as we go. Obviously, failing as well, but. We obviously need to know how to make one of these. Obviously you can't do it here, so you got to do it in here. And then... Oh, good lights. Candles. So yeah, bookshelf and that. Get ourselves one of them. Get ourselves a fortune villager, fortune free villager. Get ourselves a silk touch book. And then we should... How do I make a grindstone? Grindstone. Ah, that's easy. Let's, for the final thing of this episode, let's make a grindstone. So, let's put ourselves some stone in, uh, cobblestone in here. Get that smelting away. We're going to need stone eventually at some point as well, so... Not too worried about that. Got 20 levels as well. We need free stone. What do I need? Do I have a um oh, I've already got a grindstone, never mind. Get myself a grindstone, put that over here. Put this dude in there. And then I need lapus. Which I put over here. I put lapis over here. Oh, that's the wrong thing. We can see silk touch. Ooh. Ooh, for level 30 enchant is silk touch on a. That might be worth keeping. See how many levels I can get from this little thing I've got set up here.
They changed how that works as well, by the way. So it doesn't actually give you as much as it used to. Annoying, yeah. So, we can get ourselves a fortune book in the next episode. Do I have a silk touch book? No, but I have a bookshelf trade. You're not even... You're my mending, dude. Yes. Ah, so I have traded with you. No, 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 I haven't. Fortune 1. So with the new ore generation thing, you can actually get... With the new ore generation, you can get a bunch of stuff. Are you going to be Silk Touch Boy? Ooh, but that's better. So I'm going to get him some uh, paper, and then we'll end off today's episode there. So, yeah, between episodes I'm going to breed up a bunch of villagers, and I might even stream that on the channel at some point. At some point I might stream that on the channel of me training up with a bunch of villagers and getting myself the trades I have and need. Let's get ourselves a bunch of pape. Fancy seeing you lot. Right, you are looting free. Right, I really want to know what that book is there, but I can't see it. And you're the mending guy, which I'll be trading with loads. And then I just need to get a couple more lacterns to get a fortune guy and maybe even a silk touch dude too. Unless I can get myself a book and then I can see how many leather. Yes. So if I get myself a book, I can see what goes on a level 30 enchant for a book. Which is protection 4. Yep, definitely I'm going to do that, but I'm going to save up, trade up some stuff so I can get myself another... Oh, 14 diamonds. Trace some stuff up, get myself some more emeralds, get myself a secondary diamond pickaxe. I'm gonna enchant that one as my efficiency, a uh, my silk touch pickaxe, and I'll have efficiency five, and I'm breaking on that as well, and mending as well on there. So I got I have, I have a silk touch one, and I have a fortune one. So, yeah. But I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this episode. I know it's been a bit all over the place. I'm just basically enjoying myself recording videos again. I mean, there was a big point of why I wanted to be a YouTuber was just me having fun and playing games. And then it got in my head that people weren't watching anymore or enjoying the content. So I stopped and I just didn't want to record anymore. And I got in this really bad state where I thought that nobody would ever watch. But I didn't start YouTube because I wanted people to watch my videos. I started it because I enjoyed it and I want to get back to that and I want to get back to recording more often and 
actually recording and putting out videos for the people that do watch all the time or watch little short videos of my hamster or whatever it is I want to at least give people like that the opportunity to see content from me so yeah I hope you guys did enjoy anyway I hope you guys do join my next video where we play around with some villagers a bit and we get very messy and this is going to get really overpopulated down here and we might even accidentally trigger a raid because of it but it's going to be fun there's a bunch of villagers down here already it's going to get really loud and noisy down here but yeah I'm I'm looking forward to it and I hope you guys are too but I hope you guys did enjoy hope to see you guys next time Goodbye.